wonderful people. And we are here today, me and Rhiannon. Thanks, bud. <laughs> He's not usually allowed in the videos because he disrupts them, but it turns out I'm the one who disrupts them. So today we are going to be doing sober versus drunk questions. So we've got like 10 questions. We're going to answer when we are sober. Sober. <laughs> and we've got this. What is it? Because we're bougie as fuck, bitches. Yeah, no, we haven't just got normal vodka, we've got this fucking fuck off and cold bottle. Well, then, anyway, we're gonna do the do the questions. Sober first. Somehow get a drink. Hey guys, if you want to check out my exclusive content that is too naughty for YouTube, the link is in my description. You won't regret it. I'm naked all the time, just saying. Okay, are you ready for the first one? Yeah. Would you work for a different adult content based company if OnlyFans didn't exist? I would, just because it's my main source of income, yeah. it's yours as yeah. well, and if it did just go, which there is that possibility, there's going to be the traffic's going to go elsewhere, so you just follow, I agree. follow the crowd. Yeah. So, so I personally would work for another adult based company, I did work doing something different before OnlyFans, it was yeah. still adult based, mm -hmm. so I would probably, yeah, definitely do it again, I yeah. would like the second industry so yeah we're not leaving <laughs> what motivates you to take pictures for only fans i actually don't know how to answer that where's your inspiration from and everything oh the sex workers probably yeah i agree yeah. i i follow nearly 300 people on only fans do you yeah. yeah i followed creators before just to get inspo from their accounts yeah so i'd say that yeah that's probably the thing but motivation wise i don't know what's one thing on a night out that you've done that you regret when you're drunk. One thing that I regret. Yeah. I Pretty much every time I get drunk. Yeah, I I try to think about my best story. I'm gonna let you go first. Because okay, I feel okay. like you've got one ready. Um pretty much every time I go out I make a massive fool out of myself. So basically, I had one of the ponytails in that's extensions. Oh no. Right? I ended up getting so drunk that I took it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I was swinging it around, and then it gets worse. So I, I had a bum bag on, for a reason I really don't know. It shoved in. it in my bum bag, but with all of it out. <laughs> and I, I went around like this, going. <laughs> yeah. With your, so with your little pose up. Yeah, no, with all the hair out going, go on, eat it, eat it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I need to go on a night out with you. <laughs> as possible. I've just actually remembered a story. This is actually really embarrassing. Okay. So, I was wearing to this like festival thing, I was wearing a black leotard with the poppers <laughs> and see-through baggy trousers. Looked great. Looked great. Yeah. So obviously, finished the day drinking. <laughs> oh Got to like a club, like an actual club in a city centre. Went upstairs to the toilet, but I was so drunk. Yeah. Forgot to do my poppers back up and didn't have any knickers on. <laughs> And I was like, my boyfriend was there. I think we were kind of like, not newly seeing each other, but I was trying to show off. And I was trying to be really sexy, so I was like bending over the bar twerking, but my poppers were completely off and I had no pants on. With C2 trousers. <laughs> so that's my advice. Only on our only fans now, guys. <laughs> I was so drunk and he kept me like, run, run, stop. And I was like, shh. <laughs> <laughs> shh. <Shoo. laughs> and then obviously I got dragged over eventually and he was like, your poppers are like, <laughs> One of my embarrassing oh stories, but I'm God. sure we've both got violence. Yeah, look, yeah. Uh, are you good at sex? That's such a hard question to answer yeah. because I'm quite confident that I am, I think, but nobody knows. And also I think with sex, like I could sleep with someone and they could think I'm not very good, but then I could sleep with someone else and they'd be yeah. like, that is the best thing ever. So I think you can be good at sex for the right people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't I think it goes as there's one person, like there could be one person in the world and she's fucking amazing at sex. Because exactly, some people exactly. might not like what she does. But everybody is like <laughs> built in different shapes and sizes and that, I don't think there can be one person who's just great at sex because like your bitch depends on your body yeah. and who the partner is. What do you prefer <laughs> doing? Your OnlyFans and YouTube or just something completely different? My favorite is Probably only fans on TikTok. They're my favourites. Yeah, you are so good at TikTok. They're my favourites, I think, just because TikTok's like a bit of a laugh. Like, you can yeah. literally be sexy and be weird all in the same account. Yeah. And then only fans I just love because you get to dress up and be sexy and, you know. I, I also love only fans, but my other favourite is YouTube. Yeah. Could you choose your it thing. Is, it's it your is thing. thing. Have you and Rhiannon scissored? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> only fans. <laughs> 
just check it out. <laughs> oh, what were you doing at this exact time yesterday? It's 11.29, what were you doing yesterday at this exact time? I was at my first ever accountant meeting. It was fine, really confusing, all like mathematics, but they know I do OnlyFans. I think they already know what it is. But my dad told them, so that's fine. He's like, yeah, it's like porn and stuff. I was like, <laughs> where were you? Um, yesterday. And then, um, <laughs> I was driving on my way to my mum's to feed the lambs and a lamb was just being born. Oh, yeah. there's more. Yeah, he's called, no, that's the last one. Oh, okay. The smallest sheep, the biggest lamb we've had, he's called Bad Lad. Would you ever fuck a fan? So just to clear that up, um, no, I wouldn't because I'm not single. Um, so Chris, if you're watching, of course I wouldn't. Loyal, um, loyal to Chris. Yeah, so I wouldn't. But also like, if I was single, which I'm not, I don't know if I'd fully cancel that out. They're not a yeah. different species, I would, I would you know? be like, yeah, I'll fuck you all, mate. All of you. Yeah. But on the other hand, I... It depends on yeah. the situation. Yeah. I've personally had 28,000 past subscribers. Oh yeah, I've had yeah, That's I've a had lot, lot of people, right? Yeah. To just go, subscribe all creeps. They're not, they're all not old men, no. creeps, everything. I think it's uh, very quick to judge people. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's exactly the same with us. People yeah. are so quick to judge us because we do OnlyFans. And I think people are really quick to judge on the people that subscribe. Like, it doesn't, it's, it doesn't yeah. matter. What do your sisters and brothers think about OnlyFans? Are they supportive and understanding? I'll go first on this one. No. <laughs> I'll go first. No. <laughs> um. Told my dad what I do. And then said that he put uh, what I did in his group chat with his friends. He put it in his group chat. Yeah. That that's the reason why he hadn't replied to me in months. I don't deserve any success or happiness. So. <laughs> Look at her now. <laughs> Jealousy is such an ugly colour. So I don't have a brother, I have half brothers, but I I have two half brothers and two half sisters. I but I don't have contact with them. Thought you were no, so, child. no 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 no. So I have a sister and she's incredible. Like yeah. she's two years older than me. She is the most supportive. I feel bad oh. saying that now after yeah. you. It's yeah, it's fine, I'm all alone. Um, <laughs> You've got me. Yeah. I do have two half sisters, two half brothers that are a lot older. I've only met the two half brothers like once or twice, so I don't really have contact with them. Don't know what they'd think, but they're all older and because I'm not close to them, I don't really care. Yeah. If they, if yeah. they weren't happy with it, it's too, too bad. Have you ever posted something on social media you regret? So when I was in like year nine or year 10, I was only like 14 or 15, I was on Snapchat and I sent a picture. I was only in pants, but I was lying down on my front and I sent a picture of my bum and I sent it to someone on Snapchat who I was talking to at the time. I didn't though, did I? I put it on my story and my phone died at that exact time. What? I put it on charge and it was a time where you can't manually turn it back on and I went back to it been screenshot like 30 times no. everyone in my year I went in the next day because I couldn't not like you yeah. have to face it yeah uh, the I longer went, you leave it the worse it is exactly I went in the next day and I was like I was like oh my god I was meant to turn it to this person and then my phone died and they were like yeah all right like, well look at me now yeah I'm a professional whore so <laughs> I don't know if I post anything that I regret. You say that you always get anxiety about if you accidentally post a nude on. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't think I actually have posted anything I regret. I touch wood so far, but yeah, I do always get really stressed when yeah. I'm putting up stories that is gonna, I don't know why, I like obsess over it. I like put, post a story and I'm like, if you've swiped up to go to your camera roll, yeah. then I'll put it down, make a cup of tea and I'm like, there's oh something God. on there. Oh my there God. is something on there. That's it. That's it. Right, well, time to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, chin chin, here we go. Right, I don't actually think I need a lot. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> no, because uh, I. Oh. This is what this is. This is what we gotta do. Skip. Uh, <laughs> Rude. <laughs> chin chin. <laughs> that is vile. Chin chin. chin. One more. <sighs> yeah. Oh. Hmm. A few moments later. Would you work for a different adult content based company if OnlyFans didn't exist? What else we would, what else are we here for? <laughs> yeah. We have tits, you have money. <laughs> Sorry, guys, go over it. Yin Yang Dish Dosh. Is that <laughs> like the guy from TVL? <laughs> no, like it. no, like it. <laughs> what motivates you to take pictures for OnlyFans? I still don't know how to answer this question. <laughs> what about makes you to take them? It's a job. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Like, you, like, you like oil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's too confusing. <laughs> Go to 
the next one. What's one thing you've done on a night out that you regret? Well, we've said it all now. A guy pissed me off, so I tried to get with his dad. <laughs> and it No! Was, yeah. Wait, 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 I'm confused. So, his dad was... Really? You, know, you know, like, mm. he was nice. I found out that this guy was cheating on me. So, <laughs> when I was sat I down, sat down, the manager gave me two free drinks, two from our you? bar that everyone goes to. Yeah, okay. In okay. little village. I had two Paul and Martinis with strawberries in. So, I started, like, getting the foam off the strawberries and, like, licking it and sucking it, but looking him dead in the eye. Like, dad. He was like, kind of like, looking at me like, what? And I was like, just sucking my fingers at him. He got up to go to the bathroom. So I got up, ran into him and said, oh, fancy seeing you here. Then his son picked me up, which is awkward. and was on the phone to him. What, what about you? I drank so much when I was younger. I was in a coma. That is really bad. That's not even funny, so don't laugh. But I was too young and I didn't know what vodka was. And I stood outside a shop with a tanner and was waiting for people to go in for me to get it. I was like, excuse me, like really young. And they were like, no. And this one guy said, yeah. So basically it was his fault, it's not my fault. So I went back to the house and just downed the whole thing. So one of my friends at the time rang my mum. They picked me up, took me straight to A&E. Went to a semi coma for a few hours. And they were literally saying to my parents, like, you might have to say bye because they couldn't wake me up. So they were slapped because they have to do things when you're going like into a coma, you have to do things to try and react to you. So they put like needles in your fingers. They slapped me and I woke up in the first because I was fucked. Like I don't I don't even remember it. The first thing I did as soon as I woke up was like cackled, like we've been cackling for like 20 minutes. And my mum never liked me. Ah! Yeah, my mum never liked me. Oh my god. I know. And then I woke up in hospital and I was like, what? What are you doing? And my mum was next to me, she's like, wanting to kill me. And I was like, why are we here? I was like, did I? Because I genuinely didn't remember. I was like, have I broken it up, broken my arm in the middle of the night? Like, are you good at sex? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, strong legs. Next answer. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> yeah, if you've seen the booty, you know what which is all about. Yeah, yeah. I'm what do you prefer doing? <clears throat> OnlyFans or YouTube or doing something completely different? OnlyFans is my top. OnlyFans all the way. Like it's just so fun. Some people might not think it's the best job, but we I think it's the best job. Yeah. We are a bit biased because it is our jobs. We genuinely love it. I love it. Yeah. I do. I do also. You do what you like there's nothing better than doing what you love. Yeah. I've been paid for it, so what do your sisters and brothers think about OnlyFans? Are they supportive and understanding? So I'm gonna answer mine really quickly. Mine's all fine. We we know <clears throat> yours is not. Yeah, I'm all alone and have no family. If you wanna put in applications to be my step bro. Oh <clears throat> have you and Rhiannon <laughs> scissored? Um Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh sorry, Chris. Um <laughs> she's mine now. <laughs> if you wanna go to our OnlyFans link down below goodbye thank you very much i love you all so much and i would love you even more yeah. if you subscribed to my only fans and uh, the link <laughs> is down below bye guys i love you <laughs>